Hello again, everybody. This is Dr. John Asplin here today uh, talking to you from White Hall Gym. If you look out the window, we've come here on purpose. We've started to move into temporary classrooms. And uh, right now there are 17 of these units out here and uh, soon there will be actually 44 of these units out here. And so they'll tie them all together into four large units to have 10 classrooms each in each of those. So uh, it's gonna be a lot of space taken up out here. Pretty soon we'll be closing uh, the Dayton Street entrance to our campus off. So. Uh, you know, we've got a lot going on here, obviously, and today with the freak snowstorm, it looks like we're in the middle of winter, but it is the middle of April. So I wanted to thank the parents and the students for filling out the surveys that we've put out. We have, if you're a parent or a student that's a senior, uh, you have two different surveys. Uh, we have the one regarding graduation, and so we've heard back from, I believe I just looked before I turned on the camera here, we had 189 responses so far from that survey and uh, the, the vast majority of you have said you want to wait to have an in-person graduation. Some of you have brought up some really good points about the fact that you may having your child going to the military or things like that and that might make it difficult for them to do something if they have to wait a long time. So we're going to work through that and our high school administration is working right now to try to figure out what's the best option to try to move forward for an in-person ceremony in whatever way we can do that. And uh, also thank you to all the parents out there that have filled out the, the very brief survey we have about remote learning. Uh, at this point in time, I believe we have somewhere in the neighborhood of 200 responses from that so far. And we're really appreciative of that. And anytime you have some feedback, once again, you can use the home learning email address, homelearning at galesburg205.org. And uh, we're, we're continually going through the, the data points on that and trying to figure out how to better serve you. and. Uh, one of the things I want you to know is we've heard from many of you about internet access and, and we know that's a concern. And we're trying our hardest to try to get remote access points for people. Uh, right now we run into a, a situation where the costs have really been risen dramatically on that. And so we're trying to negotiate some lower prices to what we think is more fair. Uh, so that's holding that up a little bit. But uh, we've, we've been working very hard to try to get that done. So uh, we're in the process of ordering 20 of those that we'll put throughout the district. Uh, we said we were going to have some here at GHS, at Silas Willard, at the, the district office at Lincoln, um, and at Lombard for now. And uh, we're also trying to outfit some of our uh, activity buses so we can do some remote uh, options as well for families. So uh, that's pretty much what I have today for you. Once again, thank you very much for filling out the survey. If you haven't filled it out yet, please make sure you do that. And you can always access that home learning at galesburg205.org. So uh, it sounds like here in the next maybe few hours or maybe tomorrow or sometime in between, we may be hearing from Governor Pritzker about what we're going to be doing the rest of the year. We've learned that neighboring states have been canceling. So uh, we're guessing that's probably the direction we're going, but we don't know any more than you do right now. So we're waiting to hear from the governor when we hear something uh, final. We will put out what it is we're going to do about that and have our final plans and talk about how we're going to move forward. But for now, we don't have anything official. So we'll wait for that and we will put out some official statements once we know more from the state. And uh, thank you very much for your patience and your time and I'll see you again next week.